Sin is safe. I have one victim. Hey sir, hey sir, are you okay? Hey sir, hey sir, are you okay? You, call 997 and get an AED. Checking for pulse and respiration. No pulse, no respiration. Heart CPR. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm clear, you're clear, everybody clear? Clear, clear. Shock delivered. Finishing Pulse and respiration. No pulse, no respiration. Need to hear the click. Pulse and respiration. Positive pulse, negative breathing. Give one rescue breath every six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Checking for pulse and respiration. Positive pulse, positive breathing. Turn the patient to recovery position. Pulse. Right, great day. My name is Dr. Mark, and today I'll discuss to you the basic life support according to American Heart Association 2020 guidelines. Sin is safe. I have one victim. First step is verify sin safety. Make sure that this is safe from any dangers of fire and explosion, collapsing buildings, passing through vehicles, and other accident-inducing factors. Hey sir, hey sir, are you okay? Hey sir, hey sir, are you okay? And you need to check for the responsiveness of the patient. You, call 997 and get an AED. Third, you need to shout for a nearby help and say, I need some help for this person. Fourth, you need to activate emergency response system via mobile device. Fourth, instruct someone to get an, M an AED and emergency equipment. If otherwise you are alone in the scene and you don't have mobile device with you, you may have to leave the patient alone to get an AED and ask someone for help. Thank you for pause and respiration. Look for no breathing or only gasping and check pulse simultaneously. Is pulse definitely felt within 10 seconds? Upon checking the pulse and the breathing, there can be three possibilities. First is normal breathing, pulse felt. Second is no normal breathing, pulse felt. And third is no breathing or only gasping, pulse not felt. You need to utilize the AAA principle, which is assess and act accordingly. Possibility number one. Suppose you assess positive pulse and positive breathing. You need to monitor the patient every two minutes for the same thing, the pulse and the breathing, until the emergency response system arrives. 
Remember that patient's condition may vary from time to time. So you need to monitor the patient. Possibility number two, positive pulse and negative breathing. You need to give rescue breath one every six seconds. Positive pulse, negative breathing. Give one rescue breath every six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Possibility number three, negative pulse, negative breathing. Perform CPR, 30 chest compression, and two ventilation for five cycles or two minutes or until the AED prompts the next action. No pulse, no respiration. Start CPR. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. For compression, remember to push hard and fast. How to push hard? You should push at least 2 inches but not more than 2.4 inches and push fast 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Approximately 100 to 120 compressions per minute. That will be about 2 compressions in every second. And allow chest recoil. Minimize interruptions in compression. Change compressor every 2 minutes or sooner if get fatigued. If no advanced airway, 30 is to 2 compression ventilation ratio should be followed. If with advanced airway and percentage and tidal carbon dioxide is low, reassess CPR quality. 11, When the AED has arrived, the person should continue the chest compression while the AED is being prepared. Remember our principle that minimized interruption should be followed. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The other person will prepare the AED. Some AEDs will automatically switch themselves on when the lid is open. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You need to listen carefully to the voice from by the AED, like attaching pads to the Caswell bare chest. One pad should be placed high on the right and the other one low on the left. Check rhythm whether shock is needed or not. The machine will tell whether shock is advised or no shock is advised. Stay clear of patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. Shock advised. Stay clear of patient. If shock is advised, give one shock and then resume CPR immediately for two minutes until prompted again by the AED to follow the rhythm check. Continue until the ALS provider takes over or victim starts to move. I'm clear, you're clear, everybody. When shock is indicated, both should stand clear the patient before pressing the shock button. I'm clear, you're clear, everybody clear. And then the machine will say, press the shock button. Pulse and respiration. No pulse, no respiration. You need to hear the click. You need to hear the click. Stay clear of patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. No shock advice. 
advised. For pulse and respiration. Analyzing heart rhythm. No shock advised. If no shock is advised, again, you need to assess the pulse and the breathing and act accordingly. Checking for pulse and respiration. Positive pulse, positive breathing. Turn the patient to recovery position. If the victim starts to breathe normally, you have to place the patient in a recovery position. When to stop the CPR? First, when the victim has been fully revived. Second, when trained help or the advanced life support team arrives. Third, when the, third, when the respondents get too exhausted already to continue the CPR. Fourth, when the scene becomes unsafe Fifth, when physician directed the responders to stop resuscitation. Scene is safe. I have one victim. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. Are you okay? Hey, sir. Hey, sir. Are you okay? You call 997 and get an AED. Checking for pulse and respiration. No pulse, no respiration. Heart CPR. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm clear, you're clear, everybody clear? Shock delivered. Finishing the Pulse and respiration. No pulse, no respiration. Respiration. Positive pulse, negative breathing. Give one rescue breath every six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Checking for pulse and respiration. Positive pulse, positive breathing. Turn the patient to recovery position. Pulse. 